everybody and welcome to the real tarot 1123 i am yeah i'm trying to peek and see if that is recording okay so i am doing a uh, a general monthly energy for all sun signs for the month of january 2022 and i am going to be starting off with the uh, sagittarius okay so let's get to it sagittarius all right uh yeah i think i can leave that there let me actually use these don't know why i have a feeling that i want to use these okay hang on you guys hang on you guys there's something i want to do here just put on some essential oils right it always helps cleanses the energy makes everything nice smells awesome which i absolutely love you know fragrance aroma ah, there you go buddy all right oh this is so divine so divine oh smells awesome okay sagittarius let's see overall energy for my beautiful sagittarians what do we have for you oh yeah i forget <laughs> recording from two cameras okay so we have uh, the two okay which is the high priestess right that is beautiful so sagittarius hmm january of 2022 the high priestess oh. I think I'm going to use these as well. The High Priestess talks about it's ruled by the moon, right? Overall energy, I would say, Sag. Don't rush through anything this month. Take it easy, okay? And you have the fire sign, which is beautiful. Can you, you know, maybe I should move some of these things around. So hang in there, y'all. All right just move things around so you can see these cards right all right so then let's see fire sign you're showing up yourself so yes i love it it's beautiful energy sagittarians are mutable signs flexible but oh don't get me wrong when sagittarians decide to get stubborn about it they can get very stubborn about it so what is that energy? Oh, Ace of Wands. I love it, Sagittarians. I absolutely love it. And you have the uh, Six of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords, the Judgment card. Okay, so let's take a look. So when we have two, which talks about the high priestess ruled by the moon, I'm going to say don't rush. As feisty and fiery and fiery as Sagittarius are, I'm going to say don't rush. Because we have Pluto, and Pluto, yes, it does talk about regeneration, but you have the Ace of Wands. And Ace of Wands talks about a new project and inspiration the urge to create something new ace of wands also talks about the universe giving you an opportunity to create something new ace of wands also talks about you know you feeling empowered ace of wands also talks about uh well it's 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 symbolic of the male phallus so it's like you know being being okay don't get me wrong okay people will all get up in arms and all that i'm talking about traditional gender roles here uh, yes, it's 2022 and yes, you know, 
traditional gender roles may not necessarily uh, be everybody's cup of tea, if you will. So uh, I'm going to say, as beautiful a sign as Sagittarius is, I'm going to say that you guys are actually kind of being a little bit more um, decisive, uh, putting your foot down, saying, no, this is the way it's going to be, being strong in terms of what decisions you're making and not really willing to give in. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. So with the Six of Pentacles, of course, uh, the Six of Pentacles uh, talks about, you know, nostalgia, gifts, you know, uh, innocence, uh, you know, reunions, thinking about how things were in the past, you know, in terms of whatever. Yes, Pentacles is a, is a money, coin, earth, energy, materialistic things. Uh, you know, you may be having a little bit of nostalgia as to how things were in the past. Then you have the Seven of Cups. So uh, watch yourself. Don't sabotage yourself. Don't uh, be... The Seven of Cups is, you know, the gaslighting card. Don't... Uh, yeah, you have multiple choices, but be careful what you choose for. Because if you're not smart about what you choose, you will put yourself in a bind. You're going to put yourself in a bind. So I'm going to say just be careful what you choose for. Be careful what you ask for, okay? And then you have the Judgment card. So Judgment card is a Pluto card and Pluto is, uh, you know, forgive and forget typically, yeah. Pluto, uh, it, Judgment is forgive and forget. Um, also does talk about regeneration so how is a forgive and forget playing into this how is a forgive and forget playing into this because regeneration yes there's some oh, this whole bunch fell out so you have the devil card you have the death card and you have judgment again The Devil card talks about uh, deviant sexual energies, dependencies, uh, codependencies, and the Death card talks about change and rebirth, and Pluto is also regeneration, and then the Judgment card here again. Look at this, y'all. Right? So I'm going to say this is regarding a particular situation in your life. You are going to be making a, a 180 turn. You are going to be like enough is enough. New beginning. I'm going to start new. I'm going to make these changes. And I am going to implement these changes. However, I caution you to be careful what you choose for, what you wish for. Because if it's too much, you know how you tend to bite off more than you can chew. Then you are going to put yourself in a bind. So be careful. But I fear with a double judgment card you're going to be forgiving and forgetting about something in the past that did not work for you and you're going to be like I'm done I'm not going to sit around excuse me and wait for it I'm not going to sit around and mope about it excuse me it's over and done with I'm going to move on you're going to be successful but Sagittarius, be careful what you choose. Be careful what you ask because you are going to take this. See, the thing with Sagittarius is go bigger, go bigger because of uh, Jupiter, right? So for you, you'll be okay. You're very mutable, flexible, ta ta da You know, life is good and all that stuff. But when you hit that point, you sink in your heels and you're like, nah. -uh. And then you push back really hard or you go really intense and really overboard. I have a feeling you're going to do that here. So um, if it is towards something, I mean, when I, when I talk about pushing really hard and like going at it, in a way it's good because you, you, you're so involved, you're so invested in it that it's like all bets are off, I'm going for the gold, which is good, right? Which is absolutely good. I say do it. 
So, um, having said that, be careful what you wish for because I don't want you to put yourself in a bind. Okay? Next, Aries for January of 2023. I love these candles. I've tried soy candles because people have said, you know, soy candles, oh, maybe your allergies and oh my God. This smells so good, y'all. Those essential oils. But I just did some saging, etc. And uh, so I think it's all kind of gotten to me a little bit. There it is. I will show you the card there it is. Don't worry. Overall energy for you, Aries. You have the Emperor, you show up in your own card and you have Scorpio. So Scorpio is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighth house. First house and eighth house. So eighth house is world secrets, occult death, uh, regeneration, finances, sexual energy, and first house is you, how you represent yourself. So your focus this month in January is going to be about yourself, how you represent yourself, how you think of yourself, how you present yourself to yourself, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, also with regards to your ideas, your opinions, your observations, your involvement, your uh, inclinations, your uh, um, how into the occult and sexual energies and um, that sort of thing you are into or you are interested in. And also, of course, with regards to your uh, long-term finances. Because how you identify, that's that's the word I was trying to look for. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful, the High Priestess. This is the King of Swords. And this guy is the Queen of Cups, or this girl rather, is the Queen of Cups. Okay. The High Priestess. Ruled by the Moon. Mystical quietness, something remains hidden. Don't rush, take it easy. King of Swords, right, talks about having the strategic approach to things, right? Queen of Cups, emotional approach to things, right? So I'm going to say that regarding this month in January, I would say have a balance between your emotions and your, your heart, mind, body and spirit. Have a balance between your emotions and, oh, let's just go get it done type of thing. Don't rush. Slow it down. Take it easy. Take it easy. Because I'm looking at Scorpio here too. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and, and Pluto. Mars rules you. So it's almost like a tug of war in terms of, I just want to go and get this done as opposed to uh, oh my God, I don't know if I really want to get it done. I'd feel so bad about it. I don't want to feel bad about it. Well, I don't care. I'm going to get it done. You know, you see that Mars take action now, think later energy as opposed to the the uh, um, water energy, which is emotionally. Think about it. Think about the effects now. Think, think, think and overthink it before I take it action. Overthink it to such an extent that you kind of lose steam and you don't want to take action. So you, I'm saying you're going to have to find the balance within yourself. You are going to have to find the balance. And uh, I believe you will. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. You're, you're fighting it. You're fighting this, whatever this is. And here you have the Four of Pentacles hanging on. You're fighting. As I said, you're fighting it. You're going to hang on. Insecurities. Uh, control freak a little bit. You're afraid to give up control. 
but if you choose oh my god beautiful look at this if you choose to approach this from a very balanced perspective balance your emotion it's like how we say think with your head not your heart and vice versa well think with your head and with your heart and have a balanced approach right and there's a little bit of insecurity there's a little bit of holding on there's a little bit of control let it go because if you let it go you will have something to celebrate let go of your crazy control type of thing you will have something to celebrate even though you feel that all that you wish to or asked for hasn't come about you are choosing not to see the most important thing that is still available for you the the cup that the universe has offered you you're you're not looking at it you're just being stubborn you're being childish that's the word aries you're being childish And then here you have the chariot. No, stop being childish. Stop being childish. Chariot card again talks about balance. Again talks about focus. The chariot card, of course, ruled by Cancer and the Moon. And remember, the High Priestess is also ruled by the Moon. And you have Scorpio, which is a water energy. And then you have the Queen of Cups, which is a water energy. Right? Queen of Cups could be as Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the chariot card says, maintain your focus, maintain your balance, pay attention to detail. Thank you. I'm trying to find a spot for this thing so that I can. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I'm going to find a spot. Okay. So that was that. Then we have Leo. Ba -ba -dum -ba. Hermit. My beautiful Leos, you have the Hermit card. Followed by Libra. Hmm. The Hermit card is... Virgo, right? Oopsie. Virgo. And Virgo, for my beautiful uh, Leos, is your second house. And second house, right? Talks about values, talents, possessions, and ability to... Yeah, you need to find balance this month with regards to your values, talents, possessions, and your ability to earn. You need to find a balance there. You will have to make some decisions regarding your values, talents, possessions, ability to earn income, money, that sort of thing. You need to find balance. And Libra is one to third house. Hmm. Ace of Swords, beautiful card, right? Let me move that over a little bit. King of Swords, oh, Queen of Cups is popping up quite a bit. Listen, Leo, a lot of cerebral stuff. You have to look inward. You are going to be searching, contemplating, figuring out, is this what I want? Is this what I really want? How do I go about doing this? Why? Is this for me? Is this not for me? Trying to find the balance. Trying to find the balance. Trying to understand, figure out, okay? Searching within yourself. With regards to your second house, okay and your third house issues which are some of them are values talents possessions ability to earn income money immediate environment short trips you know that sort of a thing then you have ace of swords new ideas a little bit conflicted then you have the king of swords asking for asking to think with clarity then you have the Queen of Cups. 
you are going to get some help from this Queen of Cups person. Because I feel like you're struggling with making a decision. You're finding it hard to find the balance to make the right decision. You're finding it hard to make a decision, to find the balance. No wonder Nine of Swords pops up. Grief, depression, anxiety. And then you have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. A little bit of arguments, a little bit of violence in terms of having, what's the word I'm looking for? Exchange of words, you know, being a little snippy. Or could be a violent relationship even. Oh boy, Seven of Wands, trying to ward off competition. And then victory. Look, think carefully. Find the balance, okay? Go and figure out what really matters to you. Why you want to go where you're going. Why you want what you want. Do some soul searching. Once you figure out that, yes, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to accomplish. This is the path I want to take. I want to be with this person, not with this person, be with this, in this situation, not in this situation. Then, right, you're a bit stressed about making that decision because this is a big decision for you to make. But once you figure out that, yes, this is a big decision, cut yourself some slack. Don't, don't beat yourself of having so much of worry about it. It is a big decision. Anybody would be worried. And you think a little bit clearly, step back from the situation, detach yourself a little bit, approach it. It's easy to say hard to do. I get it, y'all. I get it. But if you get the right approach, if you have the right mindset, which Leo's you do, you are capable of being very strategic in your thinking, your planning, or you're very capable of that. Think about the, the lions in, in the jungle. I mean, uh, uh, how they, they form their little strategies and how they go in for the kill. You're very capable of doing that. So if you look at things from that perspective, you're gonna be fine. Okay, all right, moving on. So we did that. Let's do cancer now. 22, 39. Oopsie. My phone dinged. Let me briefly check on that. I hope it's not. What? Oh, okay. I'll get to it in a bit. I will get to it in a bit. Okay. Canadians for Ju for January. I don't know what I'm saying. For January 2022. 15 Diable. The devil. A little bit of codependency. Hey, listen. Clean up your act. Canadian. I'm I'm just gonna call it. Stop being a dick. And um, clean up your act. You're, you're being naughty here. No. You're up to some mischief. Don't do that. Don't go down that route. Listen, stop. You're also playing a few games over here. Playing some mind games. Don't get into that situation. It's going to backfire on you. Huh. Don't. Stop with your mind games business. Cancerians can do that very well, FYI. And you're playing games with the Taurus? Hmm. Ooh. Eleventh house. Eleventh house and fourth house. Your emotions, home, mother, family roots, and like-minded people, groups. And listen, I'm going to tell you, Cancerians. Stop fooling around because whoever you're you're trying to kind of run circles around, oh honey, they're one up on you. They're gonna get you, and you're gonna end up looking really, really uh, no. Cancerians, I'm telling you, you got to stop with your nonsense because you are fooling around. 
you're fooling around and you are making a mess you will make a mess you are going to dig yourself in a hole because you have the 15 Diablo Capricorn energy Venus which is your fourth house or your eleventh house energies seven of pentacles seven of pentacles talks about you know being having the patience and hard work but you are a little pissed because the success hasn't come as fast as you expected it to come and they're falling back like okay with the devil card again the capricorn energy deviant sexual energy dependencies codependencies kind of saying oh i don't give a flip anymore i'm just going to you know having that arrogance having that attitude and then over here you have the three of cups wanting to celebrate you're like throwing caution to the wind and you're like say, if i were to if we were talking face to face you'd be like you're i don't care anymore i'm just going to go and celebrate like i can i i've waited long enough to i know success is mine i know success is mine i'm just i know it's taking some time coming i'm losing my patience i'm going to celebrate anyway because i'm going to celebrate when it comes to me so i'll just celebrate in advance like getting cocky King of Wands, Three of Wands, yeah, you want to take action, okay, you want it, look, look, here's the thing, no harm done in celebrating, you know victory is yours, no harm done in celebrating and rejoicing about it, but um, you have the King of Wands and the King of Wands is saying, ooh, the charm, I think you're bringing, you're going to lay on the charm and all that stuff, y'all, you, you are, you're going to take action, Two of Wands. You're going to make a choice, make a decision. You're going to travel. Two of Pentacles. You're weighing the pros and cons. Many options. Look, you have it good. Okay, you have it good. You're going to have a great month. Don't get cocky. Don't get arrogant. You will make decisions. You are weighing the pros and cons. You know victory is yours. You know it's coming to you. You put in a lot of hard work. You put in a lot of effort. But you're like... Hurry up and get here already, will you? So that's what pissing you off. But be patient. Cancerians can be patient, but uh, if you, if you, yeah, go ahead and celebrate. Yeah, sure. Um, but in moderation. Okay, don't get cocky. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Don't, don't overdo it. I suppose is is the right way of saying it. That is your trajectory for, uh, or rather, the energy for you in uh, January. So now let's go to Libra, energy is the sun and water so for my beautiful Librans sun and water six of wands nine of wands page of wands all wands energy you got the sun card which of course rules uh, Leo which is a wands energy fire energy you got the water card <laughs> Yeah, you got the six of wands, you got the knight of wands, right? And you have the page of wands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lots of wands. Six of wands, of course, talks about victory. Page of wands, of course, talks about being creative, being active. And the knight of wands talks about free spirited, right? Carefree. I think you're going to kind of cut loose this month. Librans, you're going to cut loose and have some fun. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a weird noise to make, right? I think I'm going to go get my hair cut too. Librans, y'all are going to cut cut loose and y'all are like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to um, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to enjoy myself. It's time I it's time I enjoyed myself. It's time I had some fun. 
that is going to be your attitude. The moon card. And the sun card. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. <laughs> there is a little bit of mystery here because you had the water card on top. You have the green light. Go ahead. But then you have the water card on top and you have the moon card. Libra and then Cancer. Let's look at that. So one. Ten thousand. Ten thousand is career, reputation, morals and life goals. Yeah, you're going to cut loose. You're like, you know, I'm going to cut loose. I'm going to have some fun. I'm feeling victorious. You know, with the six of wands, I know it's a success. Uh, things are going to work out for you because you are going to be successful. Because you took this new approach, uh, having a more relaxed approach, right? Instead of the usual, very analytical approach to things, you have a very relaxed approach. And that's going to behoove you. That's going to benefit you. But with the moon card, what's with the moon card? Because you got the sun and the moon card. You got two sun cards and then the moon card. Show me what I need to see with the moon card. Okay, so there is some information that's going to come rushing at you. So again, something that could be harsh, harsh news or harsh information. Well, not harsh. It's probably going to catch you off guard. So that's the only little glitch, type of glitch, sort of glitch. But you can handle it. It's not a big thing. It's not going to dampen your spirit. Not one bit. Gemini. All right, Geminis. Water energy again. The Lover's card, which is a Gemini card, so you show up in your own reading, which is your first house, how you present yourself, what you think of yourself, how others think of you, how would you like others to think of you. Friendship, partnership, love, relationships, duality. I have a feeling of being like underwater, like like swimming underwater, you know, the, the everything, the sound is muted. That's what I'm feeling. That's the sensation I'm getting right now. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Beautiful. Love it. Page of Swords. Little chitter chatter. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you are going to have to have some clarity. Okay. Uh, there could be a little bit of internal conflict. Because there are some emotions that are being suppressed. Like I said, I feel like I'm swimming underwater. Um, Queen of Pentacles, uh, of course, talks about being resourceful, right? Um, taking care of the home environment. You're going to feel victorious. There's a little bit of chitter chatter, white noise. Maybe you bought a new car, you bought a new home, and everybody in the family is saying, "Oh, can she really afford it? Could he really afford it? That's uh, that's uh, too much house, too much car. Like mind your own business." You are not the one who's paying for it. You know, this beautiful Libra is paying for it. I'm sorry, beautiful Gemini is, pay Gemini is paying for it. So what's your problem, right? So, but I also feel that as much as you're going to feel like a winner, winner, chicken dinner in January, it's almost like it's very subdued celebration, subdued em emotions, right? It's not like, whoop, whoop, let's go open 10 bottles of champagne type of thing. It's like, okay, let's open up your cheers type of thing. Uh, you're being very, you're not going to celebrate in your usual manner. Geminis are like, 
you know, they can be loud, they can be noisy, they can be, it's all me, me and me, me only, but uh, they're going to be a little bit more uh, muted. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word, a little bit more subdued. Man, oh man, oh man. Sometimes words just escape me, which is a funny thing considering Gemini, <laughs> they never have a problem talking. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. So we have Aquarius at 35.30. What do we have for our Aquarius for the month of January? The bacteria. The magician. Ooh, listen, Aquarius. Are you feeling like king of the world at the moment? And then you have Aries. Ooh, one, two, three, third house. You're going to be traveling, honey, bunches of oats. You may be meeting somebody who's going to be so magical. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're going to be, whether you're single or you're in a relationship, you are going to be meeting somebody in your close environment, in your immediate environment, that is going to be so like, you're going to be so fascinated by this person and so kind of charmed by this person. And what is this hair sticking out here? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't decide whether I like this hair or not because short hair for sure. You know, you really need to set it and do all that. It's not like wash and wear type of thing. Long hair, throw it back in a ponytail and you're done. Anywho, not important. You are important right now, right? So Aquarius, you're going to be so charmed by this individual and so taken in by this individual. Like you're going to be like, wow. <laughs> as I say that, as I say that, you end up with the devil. <laughs> There's going to be some attraction. Listen, you may be married or you may be single or you may be in a committed relationship or whatever. Oh, baby, there is going to be some sparks flying over there for sure. Queen of Wands, look at you being all coy and uh, oh my God, oh my gosh. And then you have the Seven of uh, Wands. And then you have the Nine of Cups. Good Lord Almighty. Listen, 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 Aquarius. <laughs> it's going to be magical. Y'all are going to feel like, oh my God, this person is so magical. Oh my God, you know, I can create magic with, with this person or, you know, ooh, baby, I'll take you home type of thing. I mean, please don't come at me. I'm just saying the energy that I'm sensing here. You know, for all I know, I'll get, I'll get a, email or a comment from you know the significant other of of the the uh Aquarius saying that well my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my wife or my husband you know is not looking around and i don't know why you have to put all these things in the head you know please don't come at me with that <laughs> i'm just telling you what the energy is like if you are in a committed relationship then if this doesn't if the shoe fits wear it if it doesn't don't wear it if the shoe doesn't fit and you force it and try to squish your foot in it, whose fault is that for all the aches and pains you're going to get? Not mine, right? So if the shoe fits, wear it. If not, disregard. So, yeah, there's something magical about this exchange, magical about this individual, this meeting, this whatever. Sparks are going to fly. And you're going to be like, present yourself as a very efficient, uh, bold person, well, you know, uh, well versed with social etiquette, know how to dress, you know, very earthy, very Venus like. Right? Where are my little cards? You're going to present yourself in a very, it's very unusual for you to have this sort of a um, people or anybody to have this sort of a intense, magical impression. Find it easy to impress upon you in such a way. You're going to be very Venus-like, whether you're male or female, not that you're going to become female or whatever. You're going to put on the personification of Venus. It's all that 
uh, beauty, that good looks, that sexuality, that finesse, that, you know, that sort of thing. You're going to put on a show. You're going to, I have no, listen, honey bunches of all, listen, listen, listen. Here's what I'm going to say. Go for it. If that is what is going to, you know, uh, um, what's the word? Rock your world and have at it. And like I said, if you're already in a committed relationship and this doesn't apply to you, this doesn't apply to you. Oh, well. But then you have the Nine of Cups. Right? The Nine of Cups talks about wishes coming true, abundance, emotional abundance, wishes coming true. So if you're single, I feel like this is going to be a very, very magical, magical thing to happen for you. But with the Seven of Wands, right? Because we do see the Seven of Wands, right? You're going to have a little competition. Yeah, you are. Did you think you'd just swoop in and, and like grab it all and it's yours and you're good? No, you're going to have some competition. But I'm also going to tell you, as much as you have the competition, as much as you're going to feel like, oh my God, you know, um, with the Ten of Wands, you are going to burden yourself a little extra because you're going to kind of say, I'm going to win this, win this person or win this situation over. So you're going to put on more burden on yourself because it's like ramping it up. I am going to wipe competition off the screen. So you're going to step it up and you're going to step it up big time. But Temperance pops in. Sagittarius. And remember, we have the Wands card here where you want to take action. Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, uh, Seven of Wands. Temperance pops up, which is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is Wands energy, fire energy. And Temperance says, Look, honey, I want you to take action. I know you're going to take action. I know you're going to go for the gold. I know you're going to win. Temper yourself. Slow down. Because sometimes, right, we get so caught up in that moment of madness, that moment of passion, that moment of excitement, and we lose the ability to think with clarity, to think clearly, to think with, to think from a neutral perspective, right? To step outside the scene and, and look in and see what is the right decision to make. So sometimes we forget. So temperance steps in and say, just, Calm it, right? And then we have the King of Swords. Temperance comes in and says, slow down. And the King of Swords says, you have to think very strategically. Be smart about the decisions. Can one think strategically if it is regarding affairs of the heart? I don't know. I think it's difficult because when it comes to love, when it comes to romance, comes to relationships sometimes, no, I don't think people usually look at it from a very strategic perspective. How do you do that? I don't know. But you'll have to be smart about this. You know, don't, don't, you know how I said you're going to step up the game because you're like, I'm going to win this. Well, pace yourself. Don't burn yourself out. Okay. Then we have Scorpio, Scorpio at 43, 41. y'all if this doesn't resonate with you don't fret about it i anyway put out the weekly readings so look at that too you know sometimes people say well kitana week one two three and four resonated with me but the monthly reading didn't well if it doesn't resonate it doesn't resonate sometimes they all do sometimes none of them do sometimes some do and some don't take it for what it is time and energy is fluid this magician fellow again why is he being in my face right now what is he trying to tell me? Right? I need to get better lightings, y'all. Lighting. Mercury. Ooh, Scorpio. You have a little bit of uh, quicksilver. Ooh, Scorpio. I have a feeling you're going to be 
um, basically putting somebody, uh, showing somebody up for who they are. Ooh, baby. You're like, mm-mm. Let me show you what real control is. Let me show you what real power is. You think you could do this, this, and this to me? Wait, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. And you're going to be, boom, you're going to pull out all the stops. You have the wands, the fire, the cup, the pentacles, and you're going to say, here, I have it all in my hand. I can do whatever I want. I'll show you what true power is. I'll show you what true magic is. You're going to be like mercury, like whiplash. Ooh. Oi. Nine of wands. Nine of pentacles. Eight of wands. Be persistent, but stand within your limits. Stay within your boundary. If you are going to have to check somebody and show them up for who he or she is, there are two ways of doing it. You can say balls to the walls and go at them, or you can do it in a very fine, very classy way and still get the same effect. You don't have to lose your temper. You don't have to go off the rock over here and just go all crazy. I've noticed one thing. When you're really mad and you talk in a very calm and controlled manner, people really sense it. Like they can, they'll be like, oh shoot. As opposed to, Wah! and be, oh, whatever, you know, that'll be the attitude. So calm and cool. Then you have the nine of pentacles and my eyes are getting blurry. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. You will be able to have, you will have the luxury and the resources to be able to complete this task. Ace of Wands, quick. This is going to move very quick. This month is going to be very impactful for you. Very quick. This energy is going to be really quick, quick, quick. And this turnabout is going to be quick. You're really going to show them up for who they are. And then it's moving on. I'm done with you. I showed you who you are. Sit, stay, roll over. And then Scorpio is on his way or her way. Whoever's crossed your path, I feel for them. And then you go here. Quick news coming. Nine of Pentacles. Quick news is it's going to come very quickly. Universe is giving you this beautiful, beautiful offer. Enough said. What more to say? Oh, I feel for the person who's going to be at the receiving end of this Scorpio's. <laughs> Tell me about it, y'all. Tell me. I want to know. I really want to know what this was all about for you. I really, really want to know. I'm like, ooh, baby. When that Scorpio comes out to sting, baby, it stings bad. You won't even have time to rush to the doctors and get some, get some, uh, what you more call? Um, what do they call it? Anti-venom. <laughs> 47, 57 for my beautiful Capricorns. All right, Capricorns, let's see what you got. laugh sometimes I mean not not because I'm being mean or anything it's because it's really funny because I see the images I see the scenes playing out I see it I see what's going on and I'm like oh golly uh, I really I'm so glad I'm not you at the moment or you know I'll be like I wish I was a fly on the wall so I could see the reactions and stuff like that so very interesting all right who are we Capricorn you have the Emperor and Aries card Followed by Cancer. So Capricorn, wait, did I even show it properly? Yeah, perfect. I love this camera. It uh, focuses really well. So we have the Emperor and then we have the uh, the Cancer card, right? So uh, Aries and Cancer. Ooh, Capricorn. Wait a second. Four. Four thousand, seven thousand. 7,000 is friends, marriage, partners, contracts, relationships, etc., etc. 4,000 is emotions, home, mom, family, rules, affairs at the end of the life. So, some I, I haven't listed all the aspects, you know, but just some of them. So, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, 
the Empress. I like this deck. I want to get another one. Do I have another one? I hope I do. I don't think so. I want to go get another one of these decks. I really like it. So, with the Four of Pentacles, Insecurities, Five of Cups, well, obviously, right? With the Five of Cups, Lost Regret, Feeling Abandoned, Feeling Unloved, Oh, Nobody Loves Me. Stop with that nonsense. And then you have the Empress card. Ruled by Venus, Luxury, Pregnancy, Abundance, Beautiful, Bountiful Stuff. Why are you feeling like this? Why? 4,000, 7,000. Emotions? Are you separated from your disappointed or separated or feeling a little bit of loss? Feeling like your family has kind of set you aside, not involving you in everything? Four of Pentacles talks about insecurities, holding on, holding on, holding on. Look, look, I'm going to stop with this. I have a feeling that you are holding on to something that should have long been cut loose. This is regarding relationships and family. This is regarding either your mom or friends, marriage partners, etc. Relationships, your mom, your home, your family rules, whatever. Something to do with relationships. You are holding on. Why are you holding on? You, they, they have let you down. You're feeling like you're left out in the cold and still you're holding on. You're still holding on. You're like, what are you holding on for? Is there a possibility there could be a pregnancy? Sure, there's a possibility, but maybe they are not including you in the joy and in the celebration, and that's why you're upset. Or, whoa, that's way too many cards, but I'll take it. Yeah, two of cups. I feel like somebody has kind of set you aside. They are not including you in their joy and their celebration. Which is making you to go in words and search. What did I do wrong? Why did I do wrong? Why have they set me aside? Why do I feel unloved? Why am I not being included? I'm holding on so much. So much. I, I'm really holding on. I want to be involved. I want to take part. But then again, you have a lot of insecurities. And you are very, very upset that they have not included you in all of this. And then Wheel of Fortune. This is not, the situation is not going to be like this forever. It's going to turn, it's going to change. Knight of Swords, ooh, a little bit of an exchange of harsh words. Somebody must have called and said something and you felt, oh my God, that came out of the blue. Why? I was caught unawares. I don't know what's going on. Why? Why did you say that? Why did he say it? Why did she say it? What did I ever do? That really caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. Then you have the Sun card. This, I think, has also got to do with the child or a, or a young one. And then you have the moon card. Very emotional. Moon and the Cancer. Very emotional. This is going to be a little bit of an emotional month for you. But yeah, it could either be a relationship with a, with a friend, marriage, significant other, family, mother, brother, that type of thing. But pregnancy, and it could also be doing regarding a child. So is there a possibility that one of your kids is getting married, ha is having a child, and somehow they are not including you in their lives. This is another set of cards I really like. So, listen, let them, let them chill. Don't, don't uh, be so, you can't help it, you can't force it. So let them go through whatever they're going to go through. If they're good. things are going to change, it's going to change. Right now, you don't have control over the situation. Taurus. 54, 60, no, 54, 51, or something. Something like that, Taurus. I forgot I have a live stream today too, and I want to get some rest. I have been so busy all day doing these readings. I'm like, oh my goodness. I need to get some rest. My beautiful Taurus. Temperance. Are you running around like a headless chicken and getting all worked up and getting, you know, lathering up at the mouth and getting all, uh, all mad at the world? Stop. What the heck is going on with you, Taurus? What are you mad about? What are you upset about? Ooh, baby. What are you upset about? Ju <laughs> Temperance and Jupiter show up. I mean, I gotta laugh. Look at it. 
Look at temperance and Jupiter. <laughs> Ooh, double whammy. Very fiery, very feisty. You're like, you're like. And right at the bottom, you have the. I haven't shuffled the cards, but here you have the ten of wands. Taurus, you are like ready to go. You are like take no prisoners type of thing. And wands again, seven of wands. <laughs> Eight of swords. King of swords. Protecting again yourself against uh, competition, self restrictions. Competition is kind of making you a little bit, little bit apprehensive. King of Swords. You change your mindset. Change your mindset, because if you do change your mindset, stop worrying about competition. Because Temperance talks about balance and then Jupiter comes in and Jupiter is saying to heck with balance, let's go bigger, go bigger, right? And then here you are warning off competition. So there's, there's a possibility comp competition is also getting stronger. Maybe you underestimated competition. That could also be the reason why you have Temperance and Jupiter showing up. So, you know, no. And you have Ten of Pentacles. Look, what is going on here with you guys? And then you have the devil card. I'm not worried about that at all. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God, and the Death card. Listen, you guys, you got a lot of Sagittarius energy here. Something to do with competition. You never expected the competition to be as strong and as good as they are. You were like, do do do. And once you realize that they are more than a good match for you, then you kind of go into the shell and go into protective mode and start feeling restrictive and start restricting yourself and say, oh my God, I can't act, I can't do anything. But that's when you have to really pull out all the stops and say, I'm not going to be afraid, I'm not going to let them scare me, I'm going to go bigger, go bigger or go bold or go bolder, right? Uh, you need to take on a completely different attitude. You need to take on the attitude of a Capricorn, um, which is like, I'm going to show you. Well, let me rephrase that. It's actually the devil card, which is ruled by, uh, which is a Capricorn card. Uh, you need to take on the energy of, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how smart I can be. But then with the death card, it's saying that you're going to put that competition, you're going to put that situation, bring it to an end. Wheel of Fortune says that things are going to be moving very fast. If you are in competition with somebody for a job or for a position, this is going to be a real, real competition. If you're in business and competing for a big contract, this is going to be a really, really, really good competition. Because the other person is matches you, if not better than you. So the competition is just as good as you, if not better. So it's not like an easy walkover. You're going to have to work for this. Whatever this thing is, you're going to have to work for it. It's not an easy ride. It's not like, oh, to, to do, I'm going to walk in and I'm going to win and I'm going to go, ha ha. No, you're going to have to work for it. If you work diligently and be true to yourself and really work hard, you will see success. But this is not a competition to be taken lightly. This is not a competition that you can say, ah, I'll just walk over them. No, you can't. Hello, baby. Okay. Yeah, I think it has something to do with the uh, contracts and signing con Contracts and winning contracts and signing contracts. Virgo, 5905, correct? Virgo. After Virgo, I have Pisces. Let me make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 12. Virgo, what we got for you, Virgo? Number 12, the hangman. Being in a state of limbo, being forced to take a rest, being forced to look at things from a different perspective because that's all you can do at the moment. Air card, Virgo, you have the air card, very cerebral. Uh, 
20, 30, 37, that's 10. Hmm. Oh, Virgo, are you all having some migraine issues? migraines yes I guarantee you are under a lot of stress feeling betrayed feeling a little bit heartbreak there could be a divorce absolutely could be a, a, a separation or a divorce seven of pentacles you feel like oh my god I worked so hard for this relationship and why is it going this way I did everything I possibly could I set aside my set ways you know how we can all be set in our ways. I set aside that. I made an effort to look at things from a different perspective. I made an effort to consider the, the other person's opinions or viewpoints or thought process. I did everything I was supposed to do. I did everything I was asked to do. And yet there is betrayal. And yet this has come to a divorce. And yet this is a separation with regards to um, my significant person or whoever it is that my love interest is. I work so hard for it. I work so hard for it. Why? So this could be, of course, a relationship, significant relationship. It could be work too, because you feel like you really took, uh, you know, all the all the critiquing that they did for you, and you implemented all that, whatever. You worked so hard at it, really, really used your mind, and now betrayal. And now they want to go with somebody else. Grief, anxiety, and depression. I put in so much effort, I put in so much effort, so much effort, I literally like sweat, blood and tears. And why? But there is going to be Ace of Pentacles there. You are going to have that opportunity at the end, that gift. Because you're feeling a little bit insecure, a lot of grief and anxiety. But if this thing goes south, don't worry about it. You have something else better coming. And look at the bottom of the deck. I, wear, I You know me, I very rarely look at the bottom of the deck. That's not how I flow. But here's the thing. Then you're going to have choices and then you're going to say, oh, I'm sitting in a better position. Now I have choices. Now I can do whatever I want to do. Oh my God, Wheel of Fortune, enough said. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. This will pass. Something better is going to head your way. Don't worry about it. Don't lose sleep over it. Don't have anxiety. If this, if it is a personal relationship and it is supposed to go, cut it loose. Let it go. Something better coming your way. You did everything you were supposed to do. Your conscience is clear. If this is regarding a work relationship or something like that, why are you worried? You did everything that was asked of you. And if they're still dicking around and messing around and saying, oh no, what we can't, oh we uh, leave it. Let it go. Because you have something better coming your way. And then the wheels of fortune are changing to for your benefit. Pisces. One, uh, three minutes, 39 seconds. Yeah. Sometimes there's only so much you can do, y'all. That's it. What are you going to do? Right? Justice. Traditional tarot, tarot, the justice is in number 11 um, and 8 is the strength card. But in this tarot, justice is number 8. Okay. You need to be strong if you're going to have to make a decision. Either way you look at it. Aquarius. I'm reading for Pisces, correct? Yep. So where is Pisces? Uh, Aquarius is your 12th house. And 12th house is karma, hidden supports, institutions, etc, 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 etc. Deep, dark secrets, your soul, your inside, whatever is hidden from the rest of the world, your emotions, things you don't usually share with everybody. Oh my God, sorry y'all. That sort of a thing.
the chariot. So, Pisces, 12th house, justice, major decisions regarding your 12th house, your karma, your hidden supports, institutions, you have the chariot, there's going to be a lot of movement, momentum, keep your balance, keep your focus, yes this is coming to an end. Yes, you have the Eight of Cups. You are going to walk away from this messy situation as you should. Somebody is trying to hold this karmic thing. Oh, you owe me this. You owe me this. You're like, yeah, no, honey, I paid you back 20 times over. You can't be holding that against me anymore. You're going to walk away from this situation. You're going to walk away. Where are you going? Where are you going to walk away to? Going to walk away to a well page of swords is going to be a little chitter chatter but they're going to walk away never, nonetheless there's going to be a lot of exchange of words people are going to be like hey wah, wah. Oh, screw them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pardon the language ten so yeah ten thousand again ten thousand is career reputation morals and life goals so you're twelfth and ten thousand yes oh look at you once you walk away from this you're going to have the opportunity and the abundance and you can pick what you want to pick. But be careful what you choose. Be careful what you wish for. The universe will give it to you. Whatever you wish for, the universe will give it to you. And you are the one who's going to have to uh, uh, reap the benefits or not of whatever it is that you wished for. So be careful what you wish for. Two of swords. I'm sorry, five of swords. Still a little bit of that back and forth, that little bit of drama, that little bit of negative energy. Oh, but you said, I said, she said, oh my goodness, get over it. You know, whoever this individual is who's annoying the crap out of you or whether you're annoying the crap out of the individual could be reversed. And then we have the seven of wands trying to get rid of competition. You're going to win. And two of cups. You're going to have choices. Two of Cups talks about, yeah, romantic interest, love, partnership, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going to decide. For you, I'm going to say you're going to have a choice here. Do you want to say cheers with this person or you want to say bye? It's your choice. It's your life. What makes you happy makes you happy. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Right? I'm excited for you guys for this month. I'm excited for everybody. January. Oh my goodness. 2022, y'all. Can you imagine? 2020 was tough. Actually, 2019, from October onwards, things where the energy was shifting. I mean, I could definitely feel it. The energy was definitely uh, shifting. And, oh my God, what's wrong? But 2020 was difficult. We all know that because of COVID. Uh, 2021 we were hoping it'll get better it was a little bit better but not by much I have a lot of hope for this year 2022 I do believe the energy is going to change I do believe the energy is going to shift I do believe that it's not going to happen like the first of January oh yeah 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 no I think the energy shift is going to be around June July it's going to take a little bit um, but I'm excited New Year, turn the page to something new. Fabulous. So uh, that's about that for y'all. Uh, thank you so very much. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Excited for you. Wishing all of you a very, very happy New Year. I hope y'all have a fantastic year. You know, all that the universe has to offer, all the good things, all the best stuff that the universe has to offer. May you be blessed with all of it. So much love to you guys. Uh, and don't forget, uh, the uh, live streams etc right don't forget all of that do join all right bye for now let me